So good morning once again and welcome to your class in Ansight 2. And last time we discussed on steel under, under module, module 4, which is wine production. So I have posted here the different um, video links and also the attendance no, in your class work. So for now, we're going to continue with our discussion on um, hog farming, no? which is pag-aalaga ng inahin. So let me let me go back to the course module. So Shani, nagapag submit na ba ka o ka ng Imuhang ko ayon. Imuhang sa tawag ana. Imuhang quizzes and laboratory exercises. Shani. Okay, so we are actually um for this is for poll but I'm sorry na na ano so we are actually um going to finish na the the swine management so we are going to have the i think breeding na ba yun yeah Yeah, the management practices or the the breeding care. So I I guess this is where I stopped before, no? So I have talked about um the capacity or how prolific the the swine can be. So of course, as again, um the swine are very pr prolific and um for one boar boar there are ten sows and and they can even have at least no uh, or uh, two farrowing per year two farrowing per year and they can have even uh 12 to 14 na piglets per per sow so i think i just have discussed all this breeding care so to continue for the um, well, I let's just uh, start with the breeding care and um, care during pregnancy. So, if buntis na yung ating baka, one week before farrowing, provide them with uh, space, feed, and water and disinfection three to four days before the expected date ng farrowing. And the bedding should be properly prepared in the pen. So, if nandyan na yung Piglets, so you take care of the newly born piglets by providing guardrails and treating them with this or disinfecting the novel cord when it is cut. And usually feed on mother's milk for six to eight weeks along with the creep feed. Yung creep feed, yung, yung feeds na ibibigay mo sa kanila no, while they are um, breastfeeding. And protect the figlets from extreme weather conditions, especially during the first two months kasi napaka-sensitive nila. The needle teeth should be also clipped shortly after birth and vaccinate the piglets as recommended during vaccination schedule. Supplement with iron also to uh, avoid anemia. And uh, if the piglets are meant for breeders, stock, so they also are being bred carefully or properly. So yung male piglets na hindi pang breeding should be castrated preferably at the age of three to four weeks lang, no, within one month to prevent the boar odor in the cooked meat. So in, it will also enable the quality of the meat. So there are also additional feed requirements ng lactating sow uh, to ensure proper nursing ng piglets. So... The care and management are very essential no, to, for breeding and good management and feeding will also minimize the problems related to breeding and um, care should be taken during 
uh, delivery or normal or nursed properly. So pag farrowing sow and litter na siya, uh, importante you have to clean and disinfect the pen with solution of 2% ng phenyl lotion or keep it vacant for a week. And the pregnant female may be dewormed to three weeks before farrowing and prior admitting in the farrowing pen. Or spray them with external parasiticide or 1% solution malathion and cyton botox or 0.05%. And scrub the under surface sides and so on. So you also move the move the clean animal to the clean pen ten days before farrowing and provide light bedding of chop straw two to three days before farrowing. And if there's appearance of milk and teeth, when pressed, it indicates na nag yung farrowing time is approaching. And so it will last up to twenty four hours. So wipe the piglets and clean with towel or straw, disinfect the navel cord with tincture of iodine. And that uh, they, the, the normal na healthy na piglets will suck the teeth within 30, 20 to 30 minutes already. So just you just help them suck no, the piglets. And the placenta or, the de or any dead piglets or soil bedding may be removed and buried in time to, with uh, with no delay, no, the placenta will be expelled generally within a short period after farrowing. And provide 50 mg ng iron on the second day and then intramuscularly to prevent piglet an anemia. And also by oral administration of iron solution and uh, with 1 ml per piglet once a week can be also done. And also a second injection may be given at uh, five weeks age. And so most importantly, you keep the farrowing pen warm, dry, and clean. And needle teeth may be removed carefully. So uh, yung pagpapanganak actually vary from one hour to five hours. And the interval of the birth of the first and of successive piglets will also vary from few minutes to three hours. So about 30% of piglets are usually born in posterior presentation. So generally placenta is shed only after the pig, all the piglings are being born. And usually within three hours after expulsion of fetus. And they start suckling again 10 to 15 or 30 minutes after birth. So there's an artificial heat may be provided using infrared lamp or ordinary electric bulb para sa during cold and rainy season to avoid death due to chilling. So in breathing management, the sow come to heat once about 21 days. So good feeding is very important at this period. Uh, this will induce uh, heat or estrus and makes breeding easy with a larger liter size along with grains, fish meal, skim milk, or buttermilk, and etc. So for the mating, the average gestation period of pagbubuntis ng sow is about 112 to 100, 115 days, the normal liter size is about three to four months. With eight to 10 piglets and older sows are larger liter size with high birth weight. So Helen, can you hear me? Naka, nakakita na kagan ng nanganak na baboy, Helen? So you just answer anytime, ha, if you can hear me. So for the care at during farrowing time, our pagpapanganak, so the pregnant cell should be shifted to farrowing pen. So merong, meron talagang panganganak na pen. Three to four days before farrowing to, para to avoid disturbances and to settle down the new surroundings. And then the farrowing pen should be dry, well ventilated and lighted, and should be provided with beddings. No? And prior to that, the result should also be reduced to half and should contain laxative ingredient like wheat bran. So the sow should be left undisturbed at farrowing and should be helped during my, my emergency. So remove the piglets from a nervous sow and allow the suckle supervision, under supervision. And then as soon as the piglets are born, born, they are dried with a cloth and placed in warm enclosure pig brooder. So the brood sows should be given well-balanced rations 
and feeding should be started in small quantities of concentrate mixture along with laxatives like the wheat brown. And so reduce, uh, it's uh, remember that you have to reduce it into half. So during the sucking, uh, management ng sucking sow, the sow should gives about, about 150 to 100 kilogram of milk during eight week sucking, suckling period. So sow's milk is more concentrated than cow's milk, hence sow require more feed. Allow also 1.5 kilogram of feed for the sow and add 0.5 kilogram of feed per piglet to a maximum of five to six kilogram of total ration and plenty of lucerne hay and succulent fodder with may also be provided. So a few days after or prior, not, uh, not after, but prior to winning, the quantity ng feed is gradually reduced to restrict milk flow and dry the other. And for, for the boar naman, it should be maintained in a separate pen and they should never be, neither be overfed nor underfed. So since, since both will affect its breeding capacity. So tama, tama lang yung talaga pag, pag during breeding time. It should be fleshy and thrifty, but not too fatty. And the feed requirements would include demands uh, for maintenance and reproduction. And during off season, the boar should be given plenty of grasses and medium hay and two kilogram concentrate mixture, or an additional 0.5 kilogram concentrate may also be given two weeks prior to breeding seasons. So, if the boars should not be used for breeding earlier than eight months of age, then uh, a young born can be used for 15 to 20 sows in a season and older ones may be used about 25 to 45. So kung medyo maliit pa yung boar, uh, eight months of age, so konti lang din, hanggang 20 sows. But for older ones, it can be up to 45 sows and can be allowed to serve before being fed and not more than one service per day. So isang sow lang talaga, Helen, ang allowed sa isang, sa isang boar for, for breeding per day, no? Nang breeding season. And older sow may be used for breeding at home. Older sows may also be used for breeding with young boars. So at the, the gills exposed to boar, the boar should be free uh, access to water, should have free access to water and uh, the pen should be clean and dry and dampness should be avoided. Then the boar should be scrubbed and washed daily and kept clean. So trimming of the boar, boar's feet periodically will prevent lamb, lambing nest in boars and the bolt cutters can be used to remove tasks of boars or avoid injuries to sows and attendance. So newly purchased boards should be kept separately for two to three weeks to avoid risk of introducing any disease in the farm. And the care of management of piglets. So for the piglets naman, they will be removed and farrowed and kept in a crib space until farrowing is complete. And each of them should be cleaned and all mucus should be uh, clean to ensure the breathing passage. So if you notice, mamaya makikita mo sa video kung paano gawin ito. And the novel card should be tied 2.5 cm away from the novel. Remaining portion would be removed hygienically and painted with iodine. So piglets should be nursed after birth. Then they, they should be nursed 8 to 10 times in a day. Ganun din sila alagaan. And uh, piglets are born with four pairs of sharp teeth yung nasa upper and and your other so you have to clip this no and uh, you should also provide them with iron and uh, copper no to prevent anemia or deficiency so in milk feeding uh, this disease is also is also called no, because they have difficulty in breathing. So to prevent piglets anemia, other of sow, they may be swabbed daily with such saturated solution ng ferrous sulfate or iron for four to six, four to six weeks so that piglets can be can get minerals while sucking the milk. And another method could be through injection ng dextran, no? iron dextran, which is of course, I know you have heard that commercially. So crib feeding again, again, piglets which uh, take dry feed at two to three weeks 
provided with additional nutrients and the time uh, is essential to help for their maximum growth and development. And it's also called a speed starter, just like I've mentioned in the previous videos for their vigorous growth, thriftiness, and south, since south milk alone is not sufficient for piglets. So you need to provide them curve feed containing 25 to 30 percent CP, crude protein. So ito yung example ng creep, no? Uh, in the concentrate mi mixture. And it can be arranged in the firing pen and uh, fed for 14 to 56 days with the following composition. So weaning yung paghahalay na o hinawalay na siya sa saw is usually done after um, two months, no? The saw should be separated for a few hours each day to prevent also stress of winning. And its feed is reduced. So, meron din tayo tinatawag ng mga orphan piglets. They can be raised either with a foster sow or the use ng milk replacer. You can, you can uh, manually give them the milk using bottle. And uh, for the manure disposal naman, uh, the dry solid dung ng kanilang mga, yung kanilang mga uh, Waste or kind of sheets should be collected morning and evening and stored in the dung shed. And the liquid part or the urine should be washed, no? And um, pigs can be effect effectively integrated to a biogas plant. So pwede magiging biogas plant pa yung mga chicken, not chicken, yung mga swine dung. Which can be used as a, a gas for, for cooking or lighting and so on. And it also can be integrated for agriculture and fish culture, increasing overall economic efficiency. So again, the pig dung is a good organ organic manure in dried form, of course, or compost you know, for our plants. So that's for the managed, general management and breeding system. And for the swine diseases, we have a lot, no? Um, let me go back kung ilang min ay no, sorry. Uh, for swine diseases naman, I will just enumerate to you and I'm, I'm just going back after after the video kasi baka makalimutan niyo Makalimutan naman ni uh, Makalimutan na natin yung uh, yung video to show you the yung uh, panganganak or breeding. So again, let's watch this uh, video and let's just go back to the different Sandali lang. Wala siyang sound, no, Helen? Ay. Talakay natin ang mga Ngunit mahalagang hakbang sa tamang pagkilatis at pagpili ng field o dumalagang baboy na gagawang inahin at kung paano ito ay anda sa pagbubutis. Kaya kung gusto ninyong magkaroon ng isang magandang inahin, anapin lamang sa YouTube ang Pinto TV at panoorin ang aming episode tungkol dito. At ngayon, upang simula ng ating talakayan ay pag-usapan muna natin ang tamang pagpapalahi sa inyong napiling dumalagang baboy. Alamin din natin ang mga indikasyon o ang isang guilt ay handa na upang maging inahin o palayihan. Ang lahat ng ito ay ituturo po sa atin ni Ginoong Warrantan na Technical Sales Officer ng Pro Batangas. Ang mga dapat tandaan sa pagiging inahin. Ang pumamaga ng ari at pagkakolekta ng malagkit na likido ay tanda na ito ay maari ng pabulugin o palahian upang maging isang ganap ng inahin. Ang mga dapat tandaan bago pakastahan ng ating mga alagang inahin. Sa pangatlong araw na makikita natin ang pamumula at pamamaga ng kanilang ari, maaari na natin silang pakastahan. Ito'y gawin sa bandang hapon. At pwede natin itong sundan sa ikaapat na araw sa gawing umaga. At ating titiyakin na huwag natin silang pakakainin kapag sila ay pakakastahan ng araw na yon. Ito ay sa loob ng 24 oras. May dalawang uri tayo ng pagpapakasta sa, mga, sa ating mga inahin. Ito ang artificial insemination o ang normal na insemination sa kanila. Ano ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Napakarami ngayon na gumagamit ng artificial insemination. 
dahil mas matipid ito at pinakpraktikal. At nasasabi nila na mas marami itong nabibigay na biig sa kanila. Ngunit kapag ang ating mga inahin ay yung tinatawag natin silent eater o hindi natin nadidetect kung kailan sila nag-eat, dito natin magagamit ang normal na insemination o normal na pagbubulog dahil ang mga barako naaamoy nila ang mga heat na inahin. Tandaan natin mabuti. Ang mga gabay na ito ay upang mas madali sa atin ang pagmamonitor ng ating alagang tumalaga at may handa sila sa pagbubuntis. Upang ipagpatuloy ang usapan, alamin natin ang mga tamang gawain sa panahon ng pagbubuntis ng ating mga inahin at alamin din natin ang mga una nating dapat gawin kapag sila ay nanganganak na. Para malaman natin kung naging successful o matagumpay ang ating uh, ginawang uh, pagbubulog sa ating mga alaga, maghihintay tayo ng, ng 21 araw. Kapag sa 21 araw hindi na nag-heat ang ating mga alaga, ito ay buntis. Subalit kapag ito ay nag-heat, uulit tayo sa mga naunang proseso. Ngayon, sa unang araw pagkabulog ng ating mga alaga, Maari tayong magpakain ng saubantage 750 hanggang 1 kilo kad sa unang tatlong araw. At pagtungtong ng ikaapat hanggang ikatatlong pong araw, magpapakain na tayo ng isa at kalahating kilo sa ating alaga kada araw. At pagtungtong naman ng ikatatlong pong isa hanggang siyam na pong araw, magpapakain na tayo ng dalawang kilo ng saubantage sa ating mga alaga. At sa ikasyam na pong araw, tayo ay magbabakuna ng anti-parbo upang ang ating mga biig ay manatiling buhay at huwag mamatay sa loob ng sinapupunan. Ang parbo virus po ay tumatama sa ating mga inahin at ito ang nagdulot o nagiging sanhi ng pagkamatay ng mga biig sa loob pa lamang ng sinapupunan ng mga inahin. Sa ikasyam na po isang araw, hanggang sa ikasadaang araw, maaari tayo magpakain ng saubantage na nasa dalawa at kalahati hanggang tatlong kilo. At maaari tayo magpalit ng pakain simula sa saubantage patungo ng milk max sa ikasadaang araw na yan. At dito sa ikasadaang araw, magbabako na rin tayo ng anti-hug cholera upang mas protektado yung ating mga biig sa loob ng sinapupunan. Ginagawa natin ang pagpapalit sa ikasandaang araw upang ang ating inahin ay maging handa upang makapaglabas ng maraming mga gatas. At itutuloy po natin ang pagpapakain hanggang sa ikasandaan at sampung araw. Pagtungtong po ng ikasandaan at nabing isang araw, bababa po ang ating pakain ng dalawang kilo ng milk max at bababa pa po yan hanggang sa ikasandaan at labing tatlong araw. Pagtungtong nung araw ng panganak o ikasandaan at labing apat na araw, hindi na ho tayo magpapakain upang ang mga biig ay magutom at kung saan lumabas, hindi mahihirapan ang ating mga inahin. At isang paalala sa ating lahat, Kapag ang ating inahin ay nabulog na, huwag na huwag tayong gagamit ng mga sintetiko, mga antibiotiko. Ito ay magdudulot ng kamatayan ng mga biig sa kanilang sinapukunan. At habang sila ay nagbubuntis o nanganganak at nagkaroon kayo ng mga problema, maaari po kayong tumawag kaagad sa aming mga uh, assigned na technician sa inyong mga lugar upang kami ay dagli makapunta at makatulong bago lumala ang bawat sinapukunan. Sa mga nagtatanong kung ilang araw ang pagbubuntis ng mga inahin, ito po ay nagbubuntis sa isang daan at labing apat na araw. O mas madaling bilangin, tatlong buwan, tatlong linggo, at tatlong araw. Ganito kahaba magbuntis ang ating mga inahin. At sa panganganak ng ating mga inahin, malaking may tutulong kung lalagyan natin ng tapping ang kanilang paanakan upang hindi sila may storbo at payapa kanilang mga anak. At ang pagmasahe sa kanilang adal o kanilang mga dede ay makatutulong upang makapaglabas sila ng hormones na orthotoxin upang mas mapabilis ang kanilang panganganak. At may mga pagkakataon na nahihirapan ating mga inahin sa panganganak. Tayo dapat ay handang tumulong rito. 
maganda kayo ng mga uh, malinis na basahan, ng mainit na tubig, alcohol, o meron kayo mga BB oil na kung sakaling mahirapan sila, tutulungan natin silang dukutin ang mga bii na ma- matulungan natin silang mailabas sa kanila sila pupuna ng mga bii. Pagkatapos itong mga anak at nilabas ng plasenta o ang inunan, maaari kayong magbigay ng 50 ml na katas ng dinigdig na oregano upang ito ay magsilbing proteksyon sa maaaring impeksyon na dala ng kanilang panganganak. Pagkatapos mga anak, painumin din ito ng maraming tubig bago pakainin upang mapalitan ang mga likidong nawala dahil sa kanilang panganganak. Hindi pala ganun kahirap ang pag-aalaga na isang nagbubuntis na hindi. Tamang nutrisyon at tamang pagpapakain lamang ang susi gamit ang fit for peace upang ang hinahin at ang mga bigik sa sinapupunan nito ay lumaking masigla at malusog. At para naman sa gabay sa pagpapakain sa ating mga nanganak na hinahin, pakainin ito sa unang araw ng isang kilo ng Milk Max 800 ng Fit Pro at dalawang kilo sa pangalawang araw at tatlong kilo sa pangatlong araw at apat na kilo naman sa pangapat na araw. At sa mga susunod na araw, sa ikalima hanggang sa ikadalawampot limang araw, maaari itong pakainin ng lima hanggang pitong kilo kada araw. At pagtungtong naman yan ng ikadalawampot anim na araw, papakainin na natin ito ng apat na kilo lamang. At pag tumuntong naman na siya sa ikadalawampot pitong araw, papakainin na natin siya ito ng tatlong kilo. Pababa na ho ito. At pag tungtong naman ng ikadalawampot walong araw, papakainin na lamang natin siya ng dalawa. At pag tungtong na ng ikadalawampot siyam na araw, papakainin na lamang natin siya ng isang kilo. At pag tungtong ng ikatatlong araw, yung araw ng pagwawalay, hindi na natin siya pakakainin. Sasabay natin dito ang pagpupurga sa ating mga inahit. Maari kayong gumamit ng uh, tinuyong buto ng papaya o buto ng nanga o bitil na upang maging natural na pagpurga sa ating mga alaga. At isang tips para sa inyong lahat. Kada araw, kapag pinapakain natin sila sa loob ng tatlong araw, maari nating haluan ng isang balat ng itlog o dinikdik na balat ng itlog ang ang pakain ng ating mga alaga. At maari din nating maghalo ng mga malunggay o dahon ng malunggay upang makatulong na may balik ang mga nawalang vitamina at kalsum sa kanila. Kung mababasin natin, ang ating pakain ay nagsisimula sa mababa hanggang sa pataas at muling bababa sa loob ng tatlong araw upang masustenihan ang pangangailangan ng ating mga alagang biig. At kung bakit siya pababa sa mga huling araw, upang ang ating mga biig ay matutong kumain ng ating mga pakain para sa kanila. Ito yung aming booster o yung S100 at yung booster 2 na S200 na maaaring ipakain dun sa ating mga bilik. Sa araw ng pagwawalay, bibilang tayo ng tatlo hanggang limang araw. Sila ay muli na namang maghihit at sila naman ay handang guling palahian. Sa mahusay na pag-aalaga sa ating mga inahin, kaya natin umabot ito ng pito hanggang walong panganak bago natin sila hindi pakinabangan. O makikita natin doon sa ating mga alagang biig na pangit na ang mga resulta. Kung sa pito o walong bahagi na ang kanilang panganak, maganda pa rin ang mga resulta ng piglet o ng biig. Maari pa rin itong umabot hanggang siyam sa mahusay na pag-aalaga, sa maayos na pakain, at sa masustansyang supplement para sa kanila, mas mapapahaba natin ang pakinabang natin sa kanila. Ang kagandahan ng paggamit ng Milk Wax 800 ng Feed Pro, ito ay punong-puno ng nutrisyon na pwedeng-pwede sa ating mga inahim. Ito ay may mataas na kalsyum, ito ay kompleto sa vitamina, at mas ang mataas ang pool at kalidad na angkop na angkop dun sa ating mga alaga upang sila ay mas maraming uh, pakinabang pang ating makuha sa kanila. Sana po ay marami kayong natutunan sa episode ngayong araw. Sa susunod, tatalakayin naman natin ang mga tamang paraan sa pag-aalaga ng bagong walay ng mga bihig. Para naman sa katanungan at karagdagang impormasyon, maaari po...
So, I guess that's all for for the yung pag-aalaga ng panganganak. And uh, actually, we're already done with the hog farming videos. So, nakakita na ka Helen o ganang koan ng nanganak ng mga baboy or nakapang, nakatabang nakapapanganak sa baboy before, naka-experience. Helen, can you hear me? Madungog ko ni mo. Hello, Helen. So, maybe nakakita na ka, no, o ka ng mga real good na ng anak ang baboy, no? So, and to end our discussion, no, I will just give you a lot uh, the, the the last topic, which are the swine diseases. And they're in very, so sa mga swine diseases are, uh, we, all, we have the so-called classical swine fever and um, the CSF is caused by a virus no? from family Flaviviridae. And uh, yung mga symptoms niya, yung fever talaga na symptoms and yung, uh, yung treatment lang natin is vaccination no? to control. And yung pinaka-famous natin, no? the swine influenza. So, kaya nagkaro, uh, before nagkaroon tayo ng, just a while ago, maybe last year yun, na nagkaroon ng ano, massive na uh, pag pinapatay yung mga ating mga baboy. So, again, ang control nito or prevention is um, ganun pa din, no? Disinfection and tsaka vaccination. So, uh, we also have the foot and mouth disease, no? It's also a virus and uh, symptoms are lesions, no? So, to control it, you have to um, destroy yung mga infected na talaga na animals. And sometimes, sa papang, and also vaccination. So, sa pagpapanganak naman, uh, meron pwedeng mortality from 12 to 30 percent. These are caused by the following reasons, no? Stillbirth, um, nahirapan sa pagpanganap, or yung iba kinakain ng kanilang ina, or genetic, or sometimes uh, they are over, over or crushed by their mother na, na overlay na, na ano, or caused by in, enteritis, pneumonia, or some are unknown. And also, star, starvation or overlying by the pig, yung na, 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 na anuhan ng kanyang ina. So, caused by 70% of death are due to also starvation. And we also have the mastitis, metritis, aglacia. So again, this is, um, mastitis is, it's um, syndrome which involve bacteria and hormonal factor with stress. No? And it's, it's, main, it's just a loss of milk during the first few days of farrowing. And, and this is due to elevated temperature. So, nagbigyan siya ng antibiotic and oxytocin. And we also have piglet anemia. Of course, you just need iron. Pag, uh, yung symptom naman niya, pag pale, uh, rapid breathing, at saka na may diarrhea and restlessness. Or restlessness. So, yun lang. So, do you have any question, Helen? So, next me. Next week, since holiday tayo ngayong Thursday, so I'm going to see you again next week on Monday. And Tuesday pa lang. So do you have any question, Helen? Nakaipangutan na, Helen. <laughs>